Well, let's head on inside and check it out. It's got a secondary door so you can just have the screen for some fresh air, of course, which is really nice. And then there's your security door with double locks and deadbolt. You've got your access here so it keeps uh, the bugs out. There's the fire extinguisher and uh, I've got an area for shoes here. I've never worn shoes inside of it. Still got the original Winnebago mat as well. And then I have another, because I'm super OCD, <laughs> I've got another mat there to catch any extra dirt or dust. So now we're inside. You can see the, uh, again, a nice handy place for the shoes. I love that. There's also nice storage. I keep uh, extra plastic garbage bags in here, bungee cord, you know, just miscellaneous utilities. You've got a grab handle here, which is awesome. Um, you've also got a grab handle here, so getting in and out is easily done. And uh, there you've got a lot of storage under here, too, where you, I keep, like, drinking water hose, uh, windshield washer fluid, stuff like that. This right here is a switch that controls the outdoor entry light. So it's kind of like a welcome light or your patio light that you'd have at a house. I added this padded thing to the corner because I'm tall. I'm 6'2", so sometimes I would hit my head. I never hit my head now, you know, go figure now that I've got that thing installed. But before I did, I used to hit my <laughs> head once in a while. I also added the uh, hook, which is nice to hang, you know, a backpack or a jacket. So, okay, let's enter. And sorry, the, the lens is kind of a, not the widest lens, so I'll try to get as much as I can. This right here is actually a full XL. The mattress is equivalent to a queen in length. It's 80 inches long but it's as wide as a regular full mattress, which is enough for two people. They used to call that a double, 54 inches wide, 80 inches long. And it's a custom replacement. I own a uh, bedding and furniture shop, so I went ahead and put a brand new pillow top in here. Miles better than what came with it originally. And you've got, I also installed a uh, reading light up here. That's LED, so it doesn't really drain the batteries at all. You've got a, a skylight here. You can open and close that for vent. These windows open as well on the side. We've got the privacy curtains there. Privacy curtains here as well. I've never used them. It's always just been me. I've never needed to. There's so many things I can talk about. Um, I put this in. I love this. This is a Quick Connect 3.0 dual USB input. So you can plug in anything off the 12 volt system. 12 volt system, if you're not familiar, is the opposite of the 120 volt system, which is what you use if you're in like an outlet. Okay, so you can run cell phone chargers, you know, even laptop computers off of this if they're able to charge off of USB. So that's great if you're not near shore power. Okay. I also put in brand new lights everywhere you see in here is brand new lights. Every single light in here is LED now. I've even put a new dual LED dinette light in here. So that's got two switches. It's extra bright LED here, LED there, LED there. There's tons of them. We've got the dinette over here, perfect for up to four people, but probably two more comfortably. It's a really nice uh, big window next to it, so no matter where you're at, you kind of have a, a nice view of the outdoors. Uh, of course, you got a screen and you can open it, and you've got the mini blinds too for privacy. I was actually just getting ready to eat a little steamer bowl. I, uh, I'm hanging out in it today as I uh, take these pictures, so why not cook a microwave meal and enjoy it? These actually convert to a twin bed so this whole thing could be a twin bed as well you just have to take the table down and the seats convert into making a twin bed but I've never done that um, I've only ever slept up here on the main bed or down here on this this is a pull-out sofa bed that's also a full size just pull it out and there you go works really well it's a standard full under there I guess while I'm doing this I can show you if you look under here I've actually installed an airlift and there's also an amplifier, a Rockford Fosgate, that's part of the uh, custom audio system. And then there's your holding tank right here for water. This is a brand new carbon monoxide sensor I put in, and this is a brand new power inverter over here. These power inverters are very expensive. If you're looking at a motorhome with an original one, it's going to go out. It's not going to be as efficient as a newer one. Bearing will go out, the board will go out. They're probably about $300 and then you have to install them and that labor can be a few hundred dollars itself. But what this does is it ensures that you're always getting good power to your coach battery, which runs all your accessories in the motorhome. Over here, we've got the generator control. Um, and also the airlift. The airlift shows you what your current PSI is. I've got 50 PSI in there right now. I can add air to it by doing this. It has a light and uh, the generator turns on right here. Generator works fine too. There's so much storage in here. There's more storage there. There's storage here. Uh, I put a new outlet in here. Oh, I also put a new outlet in 
right here that also has more USB ports too. Cup holder there, forgot about that. Sink, I added this cool cutting board so it adds a little bit more room. That's brand new, that goes with it. The faucet will be replaced with a brand new one. There's a slight leak in the seal when you turn it on. And because that happened, I ordered a new one and I'm gonna do a bathroom one as well. They they go out after about 15 years or so. So it's, uh, I think that's the original one. So it lasted a long time. Lots of storage, that's the furnace there. More storage here. I added um, little nubby like things to make it quieter. I don't like any rattles. Uh, I like to minimize that. So that helps. These drawers, keep in mind all the cabinetry in here is, it's not like cabinets in a house, okay? So they're gonna be more hollow, thinner. It's because it want, they want it to be more lightweight because you're traveling, obviously they wanna make sure you get good gas mileage and that you can still move. Lots of storage in there as you can see. I've got blankets, extra sheets, pillows, stuff like that. Cup holders built in, I've got the essentials here, wet ones, hand lotion, and Tic Tacs. And don't forget the Germex, which right now I could probably get like 50 bucks for this, but uh, I'm keeping it. I put a really nice 32 inch 4K smart TV in here. It's really nice. Doesn't use hardly any power either. I've got one of these vintage uh, mini Super Nintendos in here, which runs off of USB power, which you plug right into the TV, so it doesn't need a separate outlet, which I love. And the TV is mounted with a very sturdy articulating mount. It can hold way more weight than what the TV weighs, but I wanted to kind of overbuild it because when you're driving, obviously you're, you're subject to a little bit more shakiness. So I just wanted to make sure it was secure. I put a custom sort of brick design back here, which is, I don't know, I thought it was kind of cool. It, you can see the little mortar in there and it's got a level and you can see there's the really sturdy mount. Okay, there's the custom speakers. I put two of those in. These are kicker, six and a half inch. There's also a bazooka subwoofer mounted under here. The gas stove is perfect. All four burners work. I've, uh, I've tried them out. I do use a long lighter. It's not like the kind where you just push a button and it lights up. You have to use like a long lighter, but as long as the gas is on, your propane tank is filled, you won't have any problem cooking. The oven is also runs off of gas. And I've never used the oven, but it looks spotless. It probably was never used. The other thing that was never used ever in here was the shower. I've never used it. I don't, and the previous owner told me they never took a shower in here. Um, I did disconnect the water to the shower because when you pressurize the water system, here's the, here's the water system information, by the way. When you pressurize the water system, it, uh, it's normal for the blow off valve in the shower to any, any extra pressure is going to come off in there. So I just capped it. You could easily open it back up again and shower if you wanted. What I'm showing here is the capacity for all the tanks. So you got three tanks in here, fresh, gray, and black. They're each 14 gallons. I can explain that more if you're confused about it. Tanks one and two, that indicates black and gray water. Black water is obviously your toilet and gray water is your sinks, okay? This is how you turn on the water pump and this is how you check the levels, okay? That shows that my battery is in excellent condition, my propane tank is pretty much full, and then those are, um, that's how much fresh water I have. I'm not running anything in the fresh water tank right now. I'm running off of pressurized water and this is the holding tank here. I just really like this bottle opener. I put it in about I don't know, last summer when I was on my three week trip because I was drinking some beer, <laughs> stopping by breweries and picking up new micro brews. And this is very sturdy and I thought it kind of complements the aesthetic. We've got the full bath, very sizable. I've never had any issues. Um, the toilet is perfect, no problems. The bathroom sink's great. You got storage under the bathroom sink too. What do I have in there? I have butt wipes. Oh, make sure you get special toilet paper that's designed for RVs. You can't get regular toilet paper because it won't dissolve in the holding tank. You have to get the RV toilet paper, which is pretty much the same price. I got these OxyChem tablets. That's just in case the, the tank or the toilet ever has some sort of a smell. Mine never has. I just bought it as a preventative. Some butt wipes, of course probably have to keep those. Those are precious. This is a big vanity closet. It's actually quite big. Let me show you. Okay. See, I've got a uh, couple camping chairs in here. I know it looks small with this video, but you got a lot of room, you know, for a motorhome. You know, you, it goes back pretty far. I put some hangers in here. You got a shelf up here as well. And you have a full vanity mirror as well in the bathroom, which is nice. You also have a mirror uh, up there above the toilet and this door right here actually slides closed for privacy too. You can latch it shut right here with the snap so it doesn't open and close while you're driving. That would be a bit of a uh, disaster. But the toilet is full size, you know, it's not like you're compromising there. It's very comfortable, 
You can spend many hours there checking your phone. So the refrigerator, Dometic, this is a great refrigerator and freezer. It's made in Sweden, handmade in Sweden, not China. And it works great still. So I think this is an amazing appliance. I've taken really good care of it. I've run it off of both propane and electric. It's a dual mode. I don't know if you can see that. Gas instructions, electric instructions. There's a pilot light window down there so that you know that it's running on propane. Otherwise, you can run on electric. I've got it running on electric right now. Um, I recently completely cleaned it inside and out, soap and water and a light bleach solution diluted with water just so that it doesn't have any odors or funk. Um, I want to keep it in perfect condition at all times. I ran it last year when I was on the road for a month and it was fantastic. Kept everything that I needed cold and frozen. I put in a a custom cork wood floor. It's designed for extra insulation, keeps the heat and the cool in uh, during the more temperate months. And it's certainly a, a lot nicer than the carpet that was in here. So that's one thing that I did change. And I even put in this hand carved wood sort of trim along the edges. That was probably kind of a splurge. <laughs> Most people would not go to that level of detail, but uh, you know, I liked it. I'm not sure if I pointed these out, but I put these little pads everywhere on all the drawers. I just want them to be quiet when they close. Those are some illegal fireworks. The Duotherm is awesome. This is a Dometic product, the same company that made the fridge made this. And it's perfect. It runs fine. The air conditioning and the heating, it's a dual unit. So you got AC and heat. You know, I'm tall, I'm 6'2", so I can stand up without hitting my head in here, except for when I'm under this. I do have to kind of duck a little bit. So if you're more than six foot one, six foot maybe, you probably have to watch out. But it's not that bad, you get used to it. Um, here's the controls. You can see everything low, medium, high. You can just run a fan if you want as well. It's great. I just uh, tested it out a few days ago and I used the heat because it was kind of cold. And uh, yeah, got nice and toasty. Earlier, you saw the doorbell. Yeah, this is the ring-a-tune. Ring yeah, I guess this was really cool in the early 90s. Um, every time you press the doorbell, it'll play a different tune. I've heard as many as 20. Maybe there's a few that I haven't heard yet. It's all random. You might remember a few from your childhood, and it'll put you in uh, a really playful mood. This is the furnace, the suburban furnace. I've never actually needed to use it because I've always used the electric heat uh, on the roof. This is a flash drive. This flash drive is meant to go in the TV. Apparently this TV has the ability to record live television onto that, just like a TiVo or a DVR. I just I haven't done it yet, but that's the controller for the furnace. The Toyota, the front part, the cab is what this is called. I have upgraded this pretty significantly with uh, this nice seven inch Pioneer dual din deck uh, it's got a rear view camera really helps out um, it's also got a dvd player built in if you want to watch a dvd on there <laughs> i never have um, it works with spotify and it's bluetooth of course and i've also got a microphone up there too which is awesome so if you're making calls you're driving right here you don't have to worry about leaning into the stereo to talk uh, they'll be able to hear you just fine it's got ac and the ac works great Toyota is super reliable. I've been very happy with it. It's got cruise control, buttons on the steering wheel. Uh, the original, it looks like the miles are lower than I thought. I thought it was 54,000. It looks like it's just under 53,000. That down there is an Echo Auto. That's like Alexa, but for your car. You can use that to you know, make requests for the music, uh, turn on the lights at your house and freak whoever's at home out or not. You can also use it to uh, do anything that you could do with Alexa at home. It's just kind of neat to have it in the car. Like, uh, how many miles is it to the moon? You know, you can ask questions like that. And I don't know why I'm showing you this, but I think this is neat. Um, <laughs> I just put this, it's a, it's like a sun-reflecting, heat-rejecting sunshade that you can put in the windshield. So I do that when I'm camping, you know, because uh, otherwise people are going to see you naked. 